Mm, hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Mm -hmm. So, uh, today I make the third part of this uh, rocket lamp tutorial, but uh, for Octane today. And for Octane, I said before, it could be that we crash sometimes, but uh, uh, it's more stable now, but I had a lot of problems, but I think I found out why, it, because uh, uh, it's something I think with the new IOR and and uh, in the metal shader, but what we will I will show you later. But doesn't matter. Okay, uh, I promised this octane and I got much question when I do it and uh, I found time now. Okay, I know it's Mother's Day, but uh, we already had uh, we celebrated yesterday. So <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So let's start. First, I delete all the PR things here from the physics render, so they don't need the scene. I make a new Octane camera here. Let's bring this out, the Octane dialog. Put it somewhere like here, so maybe. Oh, no, not here. Not here, not here, not here. Here, yes, so something like here. Okay. Whoop. and uh, make a new Octane camera, activate this and delete this camera here, and delete all the materials, Vroom. bye bye. This with the question marks, uh, I let this because here we have already the correct mappings, uh, let's say for uh, the cage here, the, uh, we have the cubic mapping and everything, so I let this like it is. But I show you later, of course. Uh, I have cubic mapping just for the cage here, then uh, I don't know for the tip here, for the tip, for the cylinders here, no, for this one not. This cylinder is, uh, these are these small things here, I think. I will see it later. And I have it uh, cubic mapping for the sweeps here. But uh, yeah, and let's bring out this this uh, heart here for the for the robotic particles. So system heart, no, thank you. Okay, that's it for now. So I prepared already a. Name here so obtain. I save it as a new file and yeah, because uh, as I said, I think we could be that we crash uh, sometimes, but uh, we will see. Let's start with the first material with the chromium material for uh, the cage here. So, what I do is I make a new material, and here I want a metallic material. I work here with the version 3.08 uh, and this uh, is now a stable version so uh, you can download it and go in my node editor. So okay. Good so far, we have now this uh, metallic material, but I want to go not to obtain, I want GGX here. And I simply throw it on my cage now. Boing. And the 3.8 version has a nice feature. Uh, you can, in the options, you can f uh, make a viewport rendering. So you don't have the uh, live viewer. I want to render in viewport, so just click on this viewport rendering and fire up, so it needs a little to, uh, to bring it in, you know it. It's the same like in the, uh, but you see it works perfect. And now we need some background, we need something to light, something to reflect, so. Uh, normally I would take here to my uh, Octane scene rig, but I, I work now on it uh, to update it. So for now, it's here. It's not. Uh, it's it's uh, work in progress here. 
So uh, I'll use for now just two objects or one object is enough here. So HDRI environment and in the HDRI environment, I put in the same uh, HDRI we had for the physical renderer. This was this one here. Let's make this smaller here. Uh, bring it in and you should see it immediately. This is this is nice now we can okay the viewport so we can go down. make here the camera and protection tech save it and now I can go in and you see it works great so but now so I rotate it the same way we did it in the physical render so this was yeah, this picture here maybe a little bit more so and hide the cow here oops hide it not bring it up bing 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 so that's that's okay back to here so i don't want this uh, chromium material so clear so so shiny so let's go to here let's bring in a float texture for the roughness and go down with the roughness a little bit okay and here if you work with the metallic material let's hide this there. if you work with the metallic material uh, you make the color over the specular channel here so you will see if I go to the RGB spectrum, if you need a color or something else, in this case I don't need the color. Really. But if you need, you want to go to diffuse, let's say so, and want to bring in some, you see, nothing happens. But if you are connected to specular, you have your color inside. And yep. This is for this, but what I want is I want some dirt, a dirt map here, and some scratches and everything on it. And I do this the same way. I make it over the specular channel here. So if I go to the dirt, I name the dirt map here on the dirt node, connect it to the specular, and go up with the strength. You don't see a lot now. Go up with the details and go up with the radius. And with the radius, you see, the dirt map works. So I don't want it so much, so something like that. Maybe less details. Maybe not so strong. Okay. This is not bad. Uh, okay, but I don't want only the dirt map. I want uh, some scratches and everything too. So what I do, I bring in a dirt map. So you can make it with a noise or something else too. But I have here my dirt maps. Oh, this is very big. Okay. And yeah, I use this one. I just drag this texture here in my node editor here. And you see, we have the image texture. Make it smaller here. And I want to combine it with the dirt map. And this I can do over a, a multi multiply node here. Bring. Multiply says everything. I multiply this two together and bring it in in the specular. And you see, we have here scratches and dirt and everything. But if you see this, if you think this is too much or too less, you want more of this texture, you could play here with the image texture, but it does not really help. So this, you see, it makes everything darker. And this is not really what I want. 
or if you go up you can you can go over one so and it will be less than you see but this is not what I want you can play with the gamma you see it is now less and okay with the gamma it's, it's okay but it's not the same control I want what how I do it is uh, with a gradient with the image texture a little way here so and I take a gradient uh, node here and bring it on this wire and now I can play with the gradient node and if I go down here as you see comes more it's, it's like like the gamma thing but what I can do here is I can play with the contrast too so if I go up here you see I have more control over everything, but this is too much for me. This, I liked it like it was, or something like that. I just want to show you this gradient thing here, you see. Okay. Good so far. Save it. Mm, maybe a little more. Make it really dirty. We see it better when we go into the camera. So. Ah, that looks not bad. And the same material, of course, I want on this cylinder here. Coing. And I want it on the sweeps here. Sweep, 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 we should have now everything the same here. We should have some dirt here too. Yep. That's and we have here dirt on the sweeps too. That's exactly what and we have it here. That does not look bad. This looks nice. Good. Save it. The next thing is the gold material. And here I want to show you how you can make a really uh, a real material uh, thing. And first let's name this here Chrome. Oh, oh that's wrong. So uh, the caps lock. Normally I disable it in the registry, but of course I forgot. So another metal material metallic material go in my node editor uh, this is my toilet layout so that it just looks a little different for me so and here in the node uh, in the IOR mode we have some we have three different uh, possibilities so here we have this artistic node this was the same as what we used now for the chrome and we, where we can play with the specular for the, for the color and everything you see it here that it's not really much to do you play here over the uh, specular and everything then we have the IOR thing here you can play here and with the specular and if you want the real thing this was the RGB IOR here and the RGB IOR this it means the first slot, so the first thing is for the red channel, green channel, and blue channel. It's just uh, you have it here. And yeah, if you play with the red channel, you see we have this red. I put it on on the pipes so you can see it better. Where are the pipes? The pipes are here. Bring it on the cleaner. Okay, and go out of the camera. No, out of the camera, not in the camera. So, you see, we get very nice things, but to find the correct values here, there is a website. And this is this refraction index website here. So, uh, normally we would go with the, I think it is here with, with this wavelength. Uh, but I, for this uh, thing now, uh, we need the wavelength of the uh, red, green, and blue channel, and the red channel is here, point 
65 and we need these two values the n value here I copy the n value bring it here in the first slot then I need the values for this this is a these are the k value here for the red channel copy and bring it in okay this is now the first thing then we go to the green channel so the green channel has a wavelength of 55.55 copy and bring it to this one and you see you get very interesting uh, effects with this with this uh, it looks like a heated metal or something else and the k value so, and the last but not least the blue channel you will guess it has a wavelength of 45 here copy paste and copy paste yes and i want the values for the copper here because i want to make it coppery and you see we get a nice value here and if you want to play here with the colors or everything you have to play with the wave with here with the values let's say if this is not uh, uh, reddish enough for me so you can go down here and make it more like copper but I think here was my problem with the with, with the crashes. Every time when I used this method, this RGB IOR, uh, I got crashes. And if I don't use it, if I don't uh, use just the artistic thing, uh, I have no problems. So I think it's because of this one here. And so I avoid this one and go back to the artistic. I just want to show you how it works. So, and now I make it just with the specula. So I go to the RGB spectrum because I don't need a, a real material here. So, so a real life material and do my own. Go up here, make something like this, a little down here. So, yeah, a little red maybe. So, and this looks fine for me. Okay, and now of course I want more roughness, save it and uh, bring in a float texture for the roughness. That's a little too much, so. <coughs> and here I want uh, some dirt and everything too. I could use the same method or I can use that I could use first let's name this pipes P -p -p pipes pipes uh. and yeah and I can copy this dirt things here so take this copy it go back to my pipes and paste it somewhere in and now I have the specular already uh, connected and now I make another multiply with the RGB spectrum and these dirt things here so I bring this out make another multiply node and now I multiply the first dirt thing and the color and bring it into the specular and you see we have our dirt here we have everything here here it looks like uh, it's cut it but it goes over it but uh, it doesn't look really nice so what we can do here is go to the image texture and we can uh, well, we can try it here too, I think. We don't need a transform node or something else. We can try it here. I go to my uh, texture tag here and play with the offset. Let's see if it does something. 
Yeah, you see, it definitely does something and yeah, it looks much better. But here, I think I want or more. Yeah, more. And what I want too is uh, we have here nice dirt. You see this, and you see it here on the on the on this uh, seam, the dirt node. This looks very nice here. Okay, and uh, I want pump too. So let's pump it up. I use for the pump the cinema noise. It's down here somewhere. Noise. Bing. We could here play with the uh, with, uh, displacement too, but I don't think we need displacement. It should work with the pump map too. Noise and what I want is Naki. So let's see what we get. Bring it in the bump map. And it does definitely something. Let's go oh, with the brightness here. Uh, this needs a little to calculate. Okay, not really with the brightness. Let's go down with the contrast. To minus, let's say, 20. Because I don't want so much contrast. And of course, I want it smaller. Let's go to 10. Yes, minus 50. Still too much. Minus 80. Yeah, it's getting better. Minus 90. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what I like. Okay, save it. And we have a nice, dirty, bumped everything pipe here. Maybe I don't like this one here. So let's go to the gradient here. Or not to the gradient. Uh, let's just... Maybe I want more dirt, yes, okay, but don't want this black one, so let's go to here and let's try here a different offset. Yeah, that's better. But now it's too dark for me, so let's go here. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Now I'm in save it. We need a simple material for our uh, seals here. Here I make a go out here and make a new material. And this will be just a glossy material. With the RGB spectrum diffuse. Almost black. So, and of course we need uh, a float texture for the roughness. You could do this everything in the in the normal. You don't need it. Then you use the node editor, but it's much easier and you have much more overview for me and to do this in the node editor so this is these are the seals this should be the seals let's see yeah come on we are yeah. see, 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 seals yay nice rubberish plasticish thing next step we need some gold here i want gold for the screws and gold for the yeah. Here again, you would have the same 
think we would have a real gold here and you can do this again with the uh, with the 65 55 and 45 wave wavelength but i think i do it more artistic so let's go to, get back to here and make a new material so these are the seals let's do then up and make new obtain material as you can make this this uh, material here too so and make a metallic material ggx make this a little bigger here so do you see something but maybe oh, okay and in the ior i have now the artistic mode here let it like it is go to the rgb spectrum specular and make it something like gold little little uh, float for the roughness again and bring it on the screws and everywhere where I want it so on the tip this is the gold material so <coughs> good now it updates here so on the tip let's see if it's correct yeah this is on the tip yeah it looks it looks very nice this is and on the screws and on these guys here these are the cylinders here i think yep save it and now uh if i want to have dirt the same dirt is on here 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 under the pipes just make it again so um go with the pipe thing here and just copy this ones copy paste select connected uh, select hierarchy so no why not when I say select hierarchy should, should shouldn't this select yeah now it does it okay and here we need again an, another multiplier so save it before i disconnect to everything so and make another multiply node you could do this with a mix node too and then you can have the uh, possibility to make an amount uh, too so but here I, I don't need this so. and i don't need a mixed material i mean a mix uh, node here so this is not the same and specular and now we should have dirt on our gold material too and everything is here nice safe i like this with the with the viewports <laughs> But the tutorial i think it's much better because i have a little more space now a little more room so what's next next is because i am lazy i use the same material for the uh, did it in the physical render tutorial the same i use the same material for the cylinders here as i used here on the cage so here are the cylinders and chrome Boing. Boing. and another point the pipes are the same here so the stand pipe whoops then we have a pipe two and we have a socket uh, looks not bad here we have a 
because of the dirt we have some strains here uh, I think we can get rid of that <laughs> if we go to the cylinders I select all the three and octane decks and object deck and in the object deck I give one subdivision level maybe this yeah this this avoids this okay save it and now uh, some wood for the socket here or uh, some other material I don't know what we can use here uh, I have a lot of wood textures here but uh, let's see save it and let's see in the live database if there is something useful wood the same joke wouldn't it be good if we would have wood bad frame <laughs> why not let's test it download it but sometimes the, the materials here are too complicated they make whatever much uh, mix materials end and end was totally not necessary but here this, this seems, seems a simple texture bring it on the cube and it's okay it's totally okay I like it next one we, don't, we just need the glass for, for the capsule here and for the bulbs good Oh, I forgot here. This mm, let's make it chrome or like, let's make it gold too. Let's make them gold. Why not? So let's look at this uh, speed this screws here. Okay, gold was not really a good decision, I think. It's the same because it's dark here down, so well, that's okay. Okay, save <coughs> and yeah, class material materials B -b 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 specular. Let's find out how, how it looks. So, uh, first go to the node editor. and bring it on the light bulbs so on the question mark here and here in octane I think it looks better first what I normally do is uh, I activate fake uh, shadows here I almost uh, here we don't see much difference but uh, when we have done uh, uh, the, the light inside and so but in octane I don't think we need uh, we don't need the cloth mat surface here let's see yeah I think it looks be like better without thickness here in octane but that's on you so I think see again so cross Close, 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 close. Yeah, as I said, it's on you. So, but I go to my render settings here, and because I have very low settings here, the specular I have to bring it up to 15. And here, let's say 10. Should be okay. Save it. And we have another light bulb here under the capsule. Don't forget this one. So, whoop. And what we need now is we need another spec, uh, another specular material. So this is the light bulbs. Make it short and say bulbs. And we could just copy this one. So I bring it down copy it so you copy with control and drag it down go to this guy here name it capsule capsule book 
see fit. And here we want red color, of course. So RGB spectrum to the transmission channel. And red color, darkish red. Bring it on the capsule. Zip. Okay. But that's of course that's great even when if a done works and like this, so this is great. It's you have uh, almost real time everything. So and let's make it little 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 roughness here. Ref Roughness here. Just it, it looks more <laughs> like a gummy beer. What it, it looks like? Not really glass. More like plastic. Yeah, that's better for me at least. So save it. And we are as good as done. So I make here a chrome material for this for these uh, glowing wires here for the coils. So I think I make here for the day version a chrome material on it. Save it. Okay, and we have our day version. Save it again. And I would say we we can we can be happy with this. It really looks good. Maybe the the uh, this, this is a little too. Where is no I noted it here. A little too rough maybe. Let's go down a little again. Ah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, this is our day version, and let's try to make a night version. It's not much difference, we just make to have to make everything darker. Boop. Okay, <laughs> we are darker. Let's go here to maybe 15. Not too dark, if you go too dark, we get this uh, ugly uh, colors here. Like this. And make a light material, so save it. An emission material. Just open the node editor. Select nothing. New octane material. Boop, boop, boop. Diffuse is okay and need just emission, so black body emission. That should be okay. We need it on the atom array. So we overwrite this material because when I go, uh, when I do a material behind the, this material, so it, it, it's more than less, it overrides it more than less. So, name it correctly. Light. So. Okay. Mission. You have to decide if you want it. Yeah, maybe it's just a little better. But it's too much here. Yeah. And I want it more yellowish, so I could. Uh, okay. And put the same on this glow wire here. Yep. 
yeah, that, that looks great. <laughs> and of course here, because we are on Inoctane, we can play with the over the boom. So in the settings here, first of course I have to go up with the settings so I don't have this this grains here. But now just work for the camera imager. It's for me. It's just on gamma. And post. Oops. And go with the bloom effect up. And you get a nice bloom. Maybe you want some glare. But the clear in this same direction like the bulbs going, so the clear angle. So something like that. That's a little too much for me, but uh, this I could make the camera. So you get a nice night version of this. Let's go to the kernel, it's 2000 for the moment. And let's see. Don't need this anymore. So it renders. Oh, is it ready? Ready rendered? No. Yeah, 1324 and 1070.15. And 2000. So we have our night version, which looks nice. Oh, yes, 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 I like it. Only thing I don't do not really like is here this, but when we play with the gamma and make it with the gamma darker, we can go up here with the power to maybe put four or even one and camera image down oh, that makes the same pro problem but if it don't go too far something like that yeah what I forgot is uh, I want of course some uh, depth of field too let's go to here and yeah if we work in the viewport here we can't use this focus uh, big focus thing so in the viewport we have to go to the uh, camera and use this arrow here and just click on the focus and then go to the thin lens thing and let's see five okay eight and you see we have depth of field here and let's render it at the moment I render with just uh, 3080 GTIs normally I render with 4 but the other one it uh, it's moment it's at the moment a little hot here and I have everything uh, as a I have the graphic cards uh, just on the uh, air cooler and no no water cooling so here we have our yeah here we have our result and i can say i like it what we lost is uh, somehow the clear here oh <laughs> yeah hey, we are artists <laughs> Let's play artist. Yeah, you can everything you can overdo. Why not? <laughs> Somehow I like it. This overdone thing. Uh, maybe it's too much, yes, I know why. Over did it, but why not? Okay, we have our night version. We can even go up a little with the camera now. It's 
to talk. So, yeah, and I hope you liked this tutorial. This is the Octane version now, and we didn't crash. And as I said, I think the crash thing is only when I when I use this uh, RGB IOR thing. If I don't use it, it seems to work perfect. So, yeah. And so I love to, to, to play with, with Octane. This, this, but so it's, it's a great thing. And let's see the normal version again. So let's go back with the camera image here to okay. one and disabled uh, you can quite uh, easy disable this light thing the light texture if you just give in in the selection deck select the uh, uh, texture decks and in the selection slot just give anything in what uh, if you don't have the selection deck then so it does nothing so give in zero and it's away and yeah we have the bloom on and everything so we should delete uh, we should deactivate this too uh, and let's go back to here okay power one is okay and we have our day version here now you could of course get make uh, with with the uh no, come on with the take system you can make it very easy your, your thing let's say we want like to the take manager uh, take manager make a new take this is day and to make a new take so I copy this take here and say this is night and here I want to record the so auto take and what I do now is I go to the atom array and to here, selection deck, I delete the selection deck. You see it records the text here. And you see we have the thing. I don't know if that, uh, if it does record the, if it does record the, the settings here. Mm, why not try it? go to point 0.5 here I don't think that it does not I think it does not record here and enable the post effect we would have the night version now so and if I go to the date version yeah it does not it does not uh, record the you see it records the, the light here when I go to the night version I have the light version of the lights on the day version I don't have the lights on but uh, it's unfortunately it does not unfortunately 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 it does not record the render settings here. And that's that's a pity. But what else? It's not so much work to go back here. No? So <laughs> okay, this is it for now. And I uh, yeah I, I wish you all a nice Mother's Day. <laughs> Even if you're not a mother, why not? Can't be wrong. Okay, uh, maybe you show me your results so you, you can post it on my Facebook group. You will find every link you uh, need, you will find in the description. Uh, yeah, if you wanna donate, you will find a link in the description. I would be really happy. <laughs> and if you wanna support me on Patreon, uh, find the link too and uh, the patrons will get of course this this project file and yeah also patrons from five euro and above will get the project file and what's next I, I'm not sure the, the list I have a really long list to do so uh, and I do not really know what I do next this is this uh, but I will do something, of course, and I try it as soon as possible. Okay, and if you have questions, please ask me on my Facebook group, on uh, uh, via email, on my whatever website, on my where am I? 
f here in the comments and and uh, yeah just ask me i will t I really try to answer every question i get and uh, uh until now i think it uh, I, I i answered every question uh, what you asked me and it's uh, right, not so easy if you have, and yeah thank you for all uh, for over 19000 followers now here on 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 youtube and uh, it's it's simply it's it's crazy this is i never thought that it will it will uh, be like this i thought oh, we will do the, the, 10, 10 uh, tutorials and that's it. But now we are on, don't know, 180 tutorials or more than 180 tutorials. And it's still, it still makes uh, unbelievable much fun. So I really love it. And I love uh, to, to be there for you guys. And uh, uh, I love your comments. I really, in all my comments, and it's, it's thousands of comments, I'm, Maybe there is one or two bad comments that the, the, all other comments are really more than kind and, and, and uh, uh, it's, it makes me just happy. So uh, I want to say, say really thank you for this. And yeah, so I uh, hope you watch my next tutorial too. It will come soon uh, in the next week. So from, from tomorrow on, I have a little more time. I don't know how long I have more time, but I have a little more time now and I will spend a little time for me, for my music too. So I play guitar and keyboards and uh, uh, I want to play some a little more too. So I don't, uh, I want to play maybe with my real friends, real, real life friends too. And uh, yeah, okay, enough for the day. And I wish you a great Sunday and nice Mother's Day and uh, be kind to your parents, not only to your mother. <laughs> and yeah, I wish you all the best from Vienna and say tschüss und baba.